Um, shalom, um, good morning. Welcome to another one of our Sunday um, online services. This is Pastor Nsian Domindosi from King's Touch Church. Um, today, I really want us to, if we can, just spend a little longer time in worship um, based on Psalm 91. We, we, have, we have actually been doing a challenge uh, as King's Touch Church of Covered 91, that in His presence we are covered. In His presence there is all that we need. I might touch a little bit on Psalm 91, but there are two songs that I want us to, to, to sing along and worship, um, praise and worship with. Um, the first one is called There is a Place by Nathaniel Bassi. You can find it. And the, the other one is You Are My Hiding Place. Some, somehow um, an old song, but it ministers to my heart every time because if there is a place I want to dwell in, then it is the secret place of the Most High. It is the secret place. It's just a place where it's Him and I. So um, if, if, if you know the song, um, sing along. If you don't know it, you can download it. Just let it, let it run in your home. Uh, let, it, let it sing life and get to that place as well. Hallelujah. There is a place that I love to dwell. It is the presence of my Father. Oh, the host of heaven gather, worship him, bowing down before him. There is a place that I love to dwell. It is the presence of my Father. Oh, the host of Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah, I worship. 
We know a place that's full of grace. We know a place that's full of peace. We know a place that's full of strength. We know a place, our hiding place, a place of strength, our place of refuge. You always fill our hearts with songs of deliverance. You give us peace. You are our hiding place. You are our refuge. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Shush, ababa ba 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 
thank you for being our pillar. Shebrush ayara na bazunte kebre kelari dedeketai. My God, we give you the praise. We honor you, oh Lord. We worship you, Almighty King. Subresita ayara na bazunte kebre kelari dedeketai. Rija ta kebre kozita ayara na bagasi dedeketai. Oh Lord, we glorify you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up to you, O God. Come and quench the thirsting of our souls. Shebre suta breke la rada magara da gata. Oh, bread of heaven, me cause a brise que bla kaba kara na bagata. Come and fill us till we overflow. Shabre zuta ya na na bagazu zente breke la di nene ketsa. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh God, we glorify, we honor you, oh Jesus. Let us. Thank you for the peace that surpasses all human understanding. Ah, we honor you. We honor you this morning. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who shall be so takabra kala di de de kuzanza ya na basa? Oh, jata be so kala na 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 kuzanza be so kala na na kata. Jesus, we glorify you, Jesus, and we honor you. Hallelujah. Take me to the place, the Lord, to that secret place where I can be with you, and you can make me like you. Rock me in your arms, rock me in your arms, rock me. 
Shata breketai. Hesh aliere de kong zata brali de kong zanta ya na basia. Ri de ke zata ya de de kong ba zanta brezu taba galara ni ne hai. Ri ke zata brasu melere de de ne hai. Rub me in your arms. Are de de kong zata brekeli ya na 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 na. Take me to the place, God. Oh, I go, oh, my knees in 
Be glorified, be lifted high. Shobre suta yara da ba kazunde breli yara da ba zujanta brekele de 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 kita. Father, we give you the praise and the honor of God. of God. I can't help it. Psalm 91. When you're done with, 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 uh, with, with viewing this, you can decide to let this play in your house. God comes wherever he's welcomed. As long as we have welcomed him, he comes. And not only that, he lives in us. And not only that, he invites us into his secret place. So at times just go there because the invitation is open. I, 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 I want to read Psalm 91, even if I will not expound on it for a very long time. Um, just be in that place of, I want Psalm 91 to be a reality. We spoke, uh, we spoke about um, the word of God being true and righteous. And the psalmist here, it's believed to be Moses. The psalmist here says, He who dwells, a he who has made a home in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We are not talking about any other God. We are not talking about a God that is made um, um, with human hands. We are not talking about a God that is who is fashioned by, by, by metals and, and, and mortals and, and, and sand and whatever. We are talking about the almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, before whom nothing is impossible. We are talking about a God, <laughs> when he opens up his mouth, calls law from him. We are talking about a God a dimension of his name. Every knee bows. We are talking about a God. One psalmist wrote and said, 
just when he opened up uh, his mouth, galaxies were formed. He spoke and it became this God, this mighty, tremendous, glorious, powerful, absolute, authoritative God. That God is calling us into his secret place. I, I, I don't know what other season is better for such an invitation than now, than this season. So I will go through Psalm 91 and we'll get to see the benefits of staying in the presence of God. You, you, whew, you're going to, to forgive me all my, my spirits. My heart is all bubbled up. Psalm 91, I'll be reading from the Amplified Classic Version. It says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no fall, in other words, no enemy can withstand. If you make him your residence, no enemy, no sickness, no disease will go down and you will save all those things. But no enemy, I don't care how powerful this enemy is. Remember, the word of God is true. The word of God is true. So when he says no enemy shall be able to withstand you, it is true. No enemy shall be able to withstand you. There's no deeper revelation when it comes to that. No enemy will be able to withstand you. I don't know who is your enemy. I don't know what you consider to be an enemy. As long as you have made a permanent residence in the secret place of the Most High, a permanent residence in His presence, no enemy shall be able to withstand you. Verse 2, he says, I will say of the Lord. Let me tell you, Moses understood what he was talking about. This guy spent time with God. This man had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the, with the Lord for 40 days. This is the man that God tells, tells Miriam and Aaron that with the rest, I will speak through dreams and visions and what. But Moses, I speak to him face to face. This guy understood what he's talking about. He says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God on whom, on him I lean and rely and in him I confidently trust. He had all the confidence in God. He had no other place to trust in but God. I mean, what more do you want? This is the type of a guy who stood before a sea and he stretched out his rod and the sea parted, literally. And they saw it and it is documented in the word. Where else do you think he can have his trust in? If God did such a mighty, mighty, mighty work through him, if God did this marvelous, miraculous um, 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 deeds in, through his hands, where else do you think he can have his, 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 his residence in? Where else do you think he'd want to go and stay in? Verse 3, he says, For then he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. I don't care what mekupangia nini. Like, it doesn't really matter what they have staged for you. But as, as long as you are in the presence of the Most High, the Bible says that, he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Snares, nimitego. Some people watakutegea. Kwa maneno, watakutegea. Kwa matendo, watakutegea by, by doing, going to the witch doctors. Or, or simply, they will just put a snare. Or they'll put something so that they can, they are waiting to watch you fall. But the Bible says that the Lord will deliver you if you are in the, in the secret place of the most time. He says, Then he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings shall you trust and find refuge. His truth and his faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. I spoke about this before, and I said the faithfulness of the Lord is a shield to you. As long as you know that he is faithful, 
then you know that faithfulness shields him because he cannot help but be faithful men can be faithless men can 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 betray you but the bible says that he remains to be faithful because he cannot deny himself we can rely on his faithfulness and as long as you are in the secret place of the most high then his faithfulness is a shield to you the bible also says you shall not be afraid of the terror of the night nor of the arrow, the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night. The other day my children come to my bedroom, they keep knocking and knocking. We ask them what's the problem, they say, Mommy, we think there is a rat in our room. To them that's a terror, well, there was no rat. But to them that's a terror. Terror of the night, like you, 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 and, 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 and sometimes they, 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 they have the imaginations that they will tell you, ah, we, we are hearing the mouse speak now. How can that be a reality, really? Mice don't speak, but to them it's a terror of the night. But the Bible says, when the presence of God is in your house, when the presence of the Lord is around you, you will not fear the terror of the night. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow, the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day. Some enemies attack you by the day. They will not wait by night. They will not wait for it to be dark. They are that bold. Some people come like, in, we are in Africa. Africa is very good with witchcraft. And those that are really good at it, they don't do it at night. They come to you in your home in the afternoon, they knock on your door and they tell you, today I'm going to bewitch you. That is the terror of the day. That is the arrow that is released to you by day. But the Bible says, you will not be afraid of those because you are in the presence of God. The Bible also says in verse 6, you shall not be afraid of, uh, 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 of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow, um, of the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day. Verse 6, it says, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, the types of sicknesses that stalk you in, the, in, in darkness, nor of the destruction and sudden death that surprise and lay waste at noonday. In Jesus' mighty name, there shall be no sudden death in your life. There shall be no premature death. There will be no sudden attacks in your life because you dwell in the presence of the Most High. Verse 7, he says, a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you in the name of Jesus. The enemy shall not come near you. They will die on your right. They will die on your left, but it will not come anywhere near you because you are surrounded. Verse 8, he says, only a spectator shall you be yourself inaccessible because the enemy cannot access you when you are in the presence of God. He says, only a spectator. In other words, you will just be watching the enemy as he, 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 he receives his downfall. Verse, he says, only a spectator shall you be yourself inaccessible in the secret place of the most time as you witness the reward of the wicked. You will just watch as they perish. Verse 9, he says, Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your dwelling place, there shall no evil befall you, nor any plague or calamity come near your tent. No plague. No calamity shall come near your home. No plague, no calamity shall come near your house. No COVID shall come near your house. No sickness, no disease shall come near your house. Why? Because you are inaccessible in the secret place of the Most High. Do you know why it's a secret place? Because nobody else can find it. It is him who knows where it is. That's why he pulls you into his secret place. It would have been a secret place where everybody knows, but it is his secret place. Because he knows where he has hidden you, he knows how he has hidden you, the enemy cannot access you. The Bible says, 
Verse 9, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the most high your dwelling place, there is no evil bef uh, th that shall befall you, nor any plague or calamity come near your tent. Verse 11, it says, for he will give his angels, he will give his angels a special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service. He will give his angels, he will give his best assistance for you. The word of God says he will put them on charge. They will be in charge of your life. They will be in charge of your security. They will be in charge and they will accompany you. Wherever you go, you will not be alone. You cannot be alone. Because wherever the presence of God is, angels also reside. Because they live and breathe by his command as well. The earth is the Lord's and everything that is in it including the angels. And when you're talking about the earth, it's not just the earth, because angels also dwell on earth and in heaven. The Bible says, for he will give his angels a special charge over you to accompany and defend. You know, when somebody needs defense, it's because there is somebody who is after them. And most of the time, these people who think, um, who are coming after you, it's because they think you deserve to be attacked. Or there is probably something that you have done that makes it, um, makes it legal for you to be attacked. But the Bible says he will give charge his angels. He will make his angels charge over you. They will accompany you. And when the enemy will want to attack you, they will defend you. They will put up their best weapons. They will put up their best shield. They will put up the... They will just put up whatever it is that they have to cover you, defend you, fight for you, and shield you. The Bible says they will defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service. Keep serving him. Keep being obedient. Because the word of the Lord is very clear. The angels accompany you wherever you go. Verse 12, it says, They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. In other words, there shall be no accidents. There should be no accidents. Because the angels are in charge over your life. They are supposed to carry you when the enemy is about to attack you. Verse 13, he says, You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the, the young lion and the serpent shall you trample underfoot. The Bible also tells me that I have given you power to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm you. This is what my Bible tells me in verse 13. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. Because once you have spent time with anybody, their presence, their character, their habit, their attitude has a tendency of rubbing off on you. Now, how much more if you spent time with the Lord of hosts? How much more if you spent time with the Lord of war? This God will cause the power to overcome the enemy to rub off on you. And believe you me, I don't care what type of a demon that shall come against you. The Bible says you shall be able to trample over them. You shall overcome them in the name of Jesus. He says in verse 14, because he has set his love upon me. This is God saying to you, because you have set your love upon him. Therefore, he says, I will deliver him. He will deliver you. He says, I will set him on high because he knows and understands my name. Ah, Shabrakataya. That's why even in the first song we, we sang, I know a name that's full of grace. It is the name above all others. Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah. That's the name we worship. Yeshua HaMashiach. Because you have known his name. Because you have called upon his name. Because you have recognized that there is power and salvation in his name. The Bible says that he will deliver you. He will set you on high. He says, because he has known and understands my name. He has a personal knowledge of my mercy, love, and kindness. Trust and relies on me. 
knowing I will never forsake him. No, never. What more does a person need? If he says, I will never forsake you. No, never. Remember, the word of God is true and righteous. He looks upon his word to fulfill it. I will never leave you. No, never. In other words, if at all God was human, he is not and he will never be. However, over my dead body will I leave you. That is, that is what I would have said if I were to, to, to be mentioning this particular verse. No, never. Come rain, come sunshine. No, never. I will never live in fear. Come hell and high waters. No, I will never leave my child. I will be with you to the ends of times, to the ends of seasons. I will be with you. Verse 16, 15, he says, He shall call upon me. Ah, Rekushata Bataya. And I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I don't know what else you would want from God. When he gives us room to call upon his name. When we call Yeshua. There are times that's the only thing you have to do, by the way. There are times you just need to say, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's, that's all you need to do. Because the Bible says, whoever that calls upon that name shall be saved. What is at the tip of your tongue? Is it mama or Jesus? Let him feel you so much to the point when you're in trouble, the first thing that comes out of your mouth is Jesus. Let you breathe Jesus. Speak Jesus. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. The Lord is waiting to show off his salvation to you. Give him the room. Give him the chance. With long life, are we satisfied? With long life, we are satisfied. We shall walk and we shall run and we shall overtake. And with long life, we shall subdue. And in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we will multiply and increase and take over because with long life, he has satisfied us. We shall live long to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We shall live a long time to fulfill every promise that he has spoken over our lives. We shall live a long time to see our children and our children's children provided, provided the Lord tarries. But if... If, um, 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 if, if the Lord tarries, I assure you, with long life, he has satisfied us. Why? Because we dwell, we have made a permanent residence in the secret place of the Most High. God bless you. Um, be intentional about staying in the secret place of the Most High. Be intentional about it. Let nobody rub it off. From you let nobody lie to you stay in the secret place I want to pray for anybody who does not really understand where is that what what does it mean the first the first step you can take so that you can understand or you can at least have a glimpse or you can have a test of the secret place is by receiving Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. I want to pray with you if you do not know Jesus as Lord and your Savior. In other words, you don't have a personal relationship with God. I want to pray with you. You'll say these words after me and then um, you will 
um, um, if you have made that confession, there's a number that shall be on your screen. You will make a call or you will text and say, I have received Jesus as Lord and Savior of my life. Or even if you need, uh, um, 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 if you want to be prayed for, you have a prayer request, you can also send it in that particular number and surely we will pray for you. But now, let me lead somebody to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for welcoming me into the secret place. Today, because of your blood, I know I am forgiven and I receive forgiveness. Today, I receive you as the Lord and Savior of my life. I want to live with you. I want to be with you. And I want to enjoy the benefits of living and being hidden in the secret place of the most time. From today, I am born again. Holy Spirit, welcome into my life. Lead me, guide me, teach me, and strengthen me. Let me walk in the path that Jesus has already um, ordained for me to be walking in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Congratulations. You have become a part of the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a beautiful family. Let me pray with you and let me pray for any other person that is in need of any prayer. Father God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you because you know that there is... There is no one that comes to you that you forsake, oh God. You receive all those that run to you because you are our shield, you are our buckler, you are our hiding place, you are our pillar, and you are the foundation we stand upon. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree and declare healing, I decree and declare peace, I decree and declare your grace and your strength upon each and every single person in Jesus' mighty name that is in need of it. Assure them, remind them, my God, my King, that your word is true true that they can take your word to the bank that it has been tested and it has been found to be true so when you say that with long life you have satisfied us it's true we are satisfied when you say that a thousand shall fall on our left side and on our right it is true that the enemy shall not come near our tent when you say that you have covered us you have hidden us and that you have sent forth angels to accompany us it is true that angels physically accompany us wherever we go we are not alone we will never be alone to begin with you said you will never leave us nor forsake us and at the, at the same time you have released your angels to walk with us wherever we go wherever we go we are not alone we are with the angels who shield us they shield us from the plans of the enemy and they shield us from, from, from the arrows of the enemy. They shield us from sickness and diseases and pestilences. In Jesus' mighty name, remind us, O oh Lord, that we are safe. Let the word become real. Let the word become a reality in the greatest mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, and we decree and declare that that which you have promised in our lives shall come to pass. That which you have spoken in our lives because you watch over your word to fulfill it, then surely we shall see the physical manifestation of all your promises in our lives while we are still on earth. Because your word says that if we serve you, we shall get a hundredfold on earth and a hundredfold in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we glorify you, we honor you. Amen. Um, you can give if you want to give. There will be numbers that um, will, 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 will be will pop up on your screen. Kindly give your tithe, your offering, uh, your fast fruits, or any other um, special offering that you want to, to give. There will be a, a, a Tigo person number and a, a bank account number. Um, give there, but then let us know. Send us a text uh, message in the Tigo line or um, on the on the on the number where the born again christians uh the new believers can, can can send their texts in send us and tell us what what that money is for so that the the, the finance account um the finance um department can be able how can know how to exactly um separate it um god bless you god strengthen you you are safe remembered the angels accompany you wherever you go remember don't ever get out of the secret place of the Most High God. That place is your shield. You are covered. In Jesus' name, amen.